What's up everyone, Shane here with ROA Off-Road. As you can see, we're up in the mountains right now enjoying this beautiful scenery. But behind me today, I'm going to show off the all new 16.4 by Paws. This trailer is pretty awesome. We've been waiting for it. Maynard, the visionary behind Paws, he's been talking about it since the beginning of this year and now it's finally here. We did reveal it at the Overland show up in Oregon about a week or so ago and we did a quick little walk around but today I wanted to give you more of the layout and a little bit more detail. This is not gonna be a full tour. I just wanted to kind of walk around it and show it off a little bit. Here it is at ROA. This is the one and only first model ever in the market. So let's get right down to it. Okay, what's super excited about this particular trailer, and I'm gonna go over this floor plan and show it to you, is there's not a lot of models out in the marketplace that gives you everything in this trailer in this size. So I do wanna talk a little bit about the model numbers. They're the XC 16.4. So XC stands for cross country because these can go anywhere across the country, on or off road. That's kind of where that was inspired. And then the 16 is the length of the box. So the box itself is 16 feet. The total overall length is 22 feet and two inches. So it's not super long for what's inside of this trailer because you get a lot in there for such a small box. And 4.4 means it sleeps four people. That's another unique thing about a box this size. Typically, it's hard to get a 15 or 16 foot box that sleeps more than two people. So here we are, a trailer with two beds. One is a full size bed. The other one is a true residential queen size bed. And you can easily sleep not just four people, but four adults, two children easily, and two adults. And the box is only 16 feet. So let's talk about the weight. The weight can range depending on how you option it. So we can option it as low as around 5,400 pounds, and that's base, potentially a little bit less. So if you're you know, driving that Jeep Gladiator, we've already taken it off-roading in Moab with a Jeep Gladiator, and it did pretty good. So really, really happy about that. If you were to fully load it, you're gonna be coming in around 5,700 pounds dry. Fully loaded, you're about 67. So about a thousand pounds of cargo if you're fully loaded, like with the max solar, the max battery systems. But if you wanna base it down a little bit, you could potentially have 1500 pounds of cargo space. So very, very good specs for a small trailer like this. But let's get into some of the details. If you wanna get into some really crazy amount of detail, you can watch our factory tours because we go through how these trailers are put together from the suspension to the frame and the walls and everything in between. Very, very good videos. A lot of people really appreciate those. So go check those out. We learned so much when we were at the factory. We went to the Garmin, which this does have the Garmin system, just like the bigger units do. Victron, Battleborn, everything that you're getting in the bigger, larger units, you're getting in this as well. There's a little uh, pantry storage like you've seen on the larger units. The larger units have a kitchen that slides all the way out here. This one's different. This is a pass-through storage. Now, trying to get to that 5,000 or 5,500 pound weight, they had to shave off some things. This does have an outside kitchen, but it's a little bit smaller. We do have the aluminum huck riveted frame, so there's no welds on this, which is really good. They send this through a laser machine and it cuts it, and it's always the same every single time. Very, very cool. Check out the tour on that. And like I said, this is pass through. There is a light in there. We come down, some of the differences that you're gonna see is propane tanks, you got the 20 pounders. You also still have that large compressor and you can still get 120 pounds of air at the air chocks. Go check out our other tours. We got way more detail on these. This one is gonna be short, but I'll go into a detailed tour in a bit. We have the articulating hitch. We have a video that's coming out with a new hitch that they're doing, which articulates forward, front and back and side to side which is exciting. We've got electric tongue jack. And then over to this side, you just have some storage and also some access to be able to manually crank. This does have a lot of cool electronics, 
but also everything does have a manual override, which is very important when you're out in case you get stuck somewhere. Here you have to the other side of the pass-through, we have solar panels. So equipped, this unit stock comes with 600 watts on the roof. They've also done some new things on the roof where they've actually elevated the panels up higher, which is very cool. And right here, we have the water Nautilus system. You have your filter right here. You also have a heat duct in here. So that's one of the biggest improvements that they've made from the previous models to this new model. This trailer is a Four Seasons trailer. You have heat running into the underbelly where all the water tanks are, the gray tank, the black tank, and you also have it running into these compartments. So nothing in here can freeze when this is shut. And just, I love how they use these heavy duty latches on everything. You can slam them. Another thing that they've done is before they were using Suburban, Dometic, some of the appliances, the only thing Truma they were using was the air conditioning unit. Now they're using the Truma Combi Eco. So this is going to do your hot water and your heat. And it's gonna give you a lot of heat for a small trailer like this. We still have this set up where you can have briefcase and there's a solar charge controller separate from the roof for this that can add an additional 600 watts of solar if you get the fully loaded version. So that's 1200 watts of solar. So there's not a trailer on the market this size that has 1200 watts. I mean, 600 on the roof, 1200 expandable. I guess you could do that on almost anything if you wanted to. Of course, you have your 30 amp, you have a sewer storage. Now, a lot of people are like, why a black tank? Maybe you'll ask that. An option here at ROA, that's one of the great things that we do is we option things. But standard from the manufacturer is going to have the black tank. This is one of my favorite parts of the trailer. He's put this pexi glass here so you can throw stuff in here and not hit any of the wiring. But as you can see, everything is super accessible. It's a few plugs. You unplug these guys right here, this one right here. They're all Anderson connectors, and there's a couple screws. Yes, unscrew it, and the whole plate comes out, and you can service it, work on it. We have solar charge controllers, two separate ones, one for the roof, one for the briefcase. You also have a DC to DC charger. What this does is so you can charge while towing with your truck and you're gonna put a lot more power into the batteries as you're driving down the road. And then of course you have the servo and the distribution panel, a 3000 watt inverter. Over here, we have all the Garmin system outside right in this area. And right here, very important, you have a heat duct. So all the basement is gonna be heated and down the water tanks are in the frame. Of course, everything is covered with skid plates, but up inside of those skid plates, you have forced heating going to all of those tanks so you can go out in cold temperatures and have no problems. They still have the ladder that goes to the roof. And as you can see, you have the parameter lights all the way around. This one has the backup camera, does not have the perimeter 360 camera, but you do have your backup camera. You gotta understand that what they were trying to do is shave off some of the weight and so every little thing adds up in the end. Obviously, the, this bumper is not as large and you have one single spare tire opposed to two spare tires. You're shaving off a lot of weight to try to get it. Where this is easily half ton pullable. Any Ford Raptor or you know TRX, I would even say if you get the base model, you could pull it with maybe a Max Tow Package Gladiator or potentially the new Colorados. A lot of those, their tow ratings are seven to 8,000 pounds, which really puts you in the range of this trailer. So down underneath here, I did mention the water tanks are heated underneath. Water capacity is 54 gallons of fresh water. And then you have a 30 gray and a 30 black. Right here, we have the D-ring recovery hooks. These are integrated into the actual frame and you'll be able to yank the whole trailer out with this. One of the great features of the pause, and this is all of the units, is all of the Garmin system and the suspension. This is a Moride suspension. They made this exclusively for pause and this suspension is unbelievable. 12 inches of travel. This thing articulates better than almost anything on the market right now. In America, it articulates better than anything. The only other thing in the world that I'm aware of that has that type of articulation is the Bruder. And what I love about the pause is they've just been like, hey, let's make it in America and let's make it stronger and better than anything else. And that's what they've been trying to do with the pause. The walls are full composite. 
There's not a single seam or stud in the walls, so you're not gonna have a lot of cold and heat. They're insulated very, very well. Been running the AC in here and it's been nice and cool all day long. Back here, we got the spare tire. This is a heavy duty road tire. Of course, they're looking at some off-road options. They had to throw this on to get it to the show because this was the only tire they had access to for the weight ratings. Right down here, we have a switch that can turn on the lights up here in the back. And this is one of the features that people have been oohing and on about. Let's check that out. Beautiful. And what do you see? This. How about waking up in the morning to that view? Amazing, right? This is so cool. Another thing about this is this is a folding mattress. So it folds up. And as you can see, there's all these connection or hook points where you can put some mountain bikes, electric bikes, street bikes, whatever you want. Put your toys in here and be able to essentially have a garage space for your toys. And then when you're out camping, you can lift this up and open the screen, put the screen down and be able to just enjoy the outside while you're still inside. We were at the show, like I said, showing this unit off and it was super hot during the day. It was getting up into 95 plus degrees. And when we had this whole thing open, the cross breeze was really nice. People were walking in and it was a great shelter. Another thing, attention to detail, is when this is closed, the window still will open. Now we've had a lot of trailers where the back windows, if there's a tire here, you can't actually open the window. Coming around here, we have a little access point and this is for a manual crank for your stabilizer jacks. Once again, with the Garmin, Essentially, you pull into camp, you unhook your truck and you press one button and the air suspension levels side to side, the front tongue jack goes up and down and then these just deploy down to stabilize the trailer. But like I mentioned, there's a manual crank for almost everything. Even the air, you can manually put air in or manually take air out. So it gives you that redundancy in case you do have an issue, but you do have all full auto self-leveling makes camping so nice. Above us, we have the Thule awning. This is like one of the most premium awnings on the market. You have a LED light strip up, up, up there. You also have automatic wind sensors, so you can set the wind sensors and if it gets too windy, it will automatically retract. Also, you have your outside stereo and you have some lights. These also have amber. So for bugs at night, they don't like it as much. And so that gets the bugs away from you at night. And you can control all of that through the Garmin, which they do have a new setup inside that's permanently mounted, but you can also buy the plate that comes off or you can download the app on your phone and you can control the entire trailer with your phone. So now let's talk about the outside kitchen because it has an outside kitchen. There's not a lot of trailers on the market this small that have both an indoor and an outdoor kitchen that sleeps for adults and is around, you know, 5,500 pounds. So this comes out and you have the gray stone and this is a grill and these things are really good, put off a lot of BTU. Uh, you have an outside fridge or freezer, so you can adjust the temperatures. Inside in a bit, I'll show you that there's also an inside fridge and freezer, which is really exciting. This right here, you could put it somewhere else, but you got it right here. This comes around and it mounts on just like that. And this goes in right there. And then you have both hot and cold water right there. And the spigot or the little faucet is up front. You just plug it in, it's a quick connect, really easy to operate. And then of course you have a nice cutting board up here and a little bit of storage right there. This is your grease catch for the griddle. Nice thing is you're always level. Sometimes it's super a pain in the butt if you have a camper or an off-road trailer. These grills, if they're not perfectly level, all your grease puddles somewhere. With this trailer, press of a button, the whole trailer's level. Now coming over here, we'll get rid of our little mosquito candles for a second because I do want to show this. They come with these bar stools and then you can eat at the bench, but you can also flip this up and this is where they're now placing the Max Tracks. And I really like that because you don't have to have any mechanism that holds it up. It just comes down and rests right on the wheel well. And then you also have an outside outlet and this will work off of your 3000 watt inverter. One of the things that I didn't mention 
is stock, you have 270 amp hours of battleborn lithium. This unit that's behind me right now has 1,080 amp hours of battleborn lithium. So this is crazy. The big units have that much power. This unit also has 1,080 and up to 1,200 watts of solar with the briefcase. So massive solar array, massive battery bank, unbelievable in a trailer this size. So let's head on inside. You of course have an electric keypad, which is very nice, locks the door and you can't come in. And then if you, uh, I don't want you to know my password. Let's head on inside. We got our more ride steps, which just flip up into the doorway, which is really nice. Coming inside. Okay, as we come inside, I'm gonna turn on all of our lights and I can do that by just clicking all interior lights. Now, if I wanted to turn them all on one at a time, I could click here. I could actually also dim things. So right, let's do uh, this right here. We see our dimming of our lights. And then if we want to go full bright, we go on. Or you can just press it once and that turns it completely on and off. So Garmin system is unbelievable. It tells you everything you need to know and everything you want to know. You can go to the home and you can control the air conditioning. As you can hear, the AC is currently running. I just dropped the temperature down a little bit. We have our water, our lights, our water pump, water heater. You can see I have a full fresh water tank. We just barely got out here. This trailer has been towed a few thousand miles from Indiana to Oregon, from Oregon to Utah, and then down to Moab. We've been off-roading in it. We went on a Jeep trail. I actually went out with Maynard. Stay tuned for that footage. That's gonna be epic. We had a good time. He brought a larger model, a new floor plan the 21. Remember the boxes are 21 feet, 0.4, so it sleeps four people, has bunk beds, great family model. But this one, you control everything. You can turn on your fantastic vent fan, which it has in the bathroom. I can adjust my air. I can go in here. I can check my power. Right here, I see I'm getting 3.6 amps from the solar right now, which is very low, but it's very, very cloudy outside. You can barely, I mean, you can't see the sun at all. And it's also getting later into the evening. So the sun is going down and there's cloud cover. Turn on your inverter. Everything right here is controlled by your Garmin. Now, if you want, you can also get one of these and you can control everything right here or everybody already has a phone. You can go to your app store and download the app and pretty much exactly how you see this on the Garmin, you see that on your phone, it's just a little bit smaller. Love, love this system. This system is just unbelievable. Some of the things that I've done, right? On our way down to Moab, at first we were in the valley. Inside the trailer was like 90 degrees. In the valley, it was 90 degrees. I checked the weather down in Moab when we were going, it was gonna be 104 degrees. I'm like, holy moly, it's hot. So we started driving out of the valley. It was 90 degrees outside, 90 degrees in the trailer. But then once we hit the canyon, we climb seven, 8,000 feet. There's a pass on the way to Moab and it got down to almost 70 degrees. I'm like, I don't wanna crank on my AC when I have cold air outside. So what I did from the truck while I was driving, I had my wife turn on my phone, connect to this, and she opened up the fantastic vent fan. So it starts sucking all the hot air out of here and replacing it with the cold air from outside. And then and it got down to like 70 degrees in the trailer and I turned the fan off as we came down and started coming into Moab. It was creeping up to 100 degrees outside it was still close to 80 70 to 80 degrees inside and right maybe about an hour before we got to camp i kicked on the air conditioning from the truck while driving and by the time we pulled into camp the whole trailer was 72 degrees inside perfect temperature it's 2 30 in the morning it was super late night we threw the girls on the bed two girls and me and my wife laid on the bed slept great the whole night it didn't get I think it was 90 degrees all night in Moab, 60 to 72 degrees inside the trailer. So love, love that system, lots of ability. Now you might say, well, what if you can't turn on the Garmin right there? Well, you can turn on the switches right here because there are switches. So moving back into this area, like I said, this isn't gonna be a full tour. I just wanna go over some of the main features really quickly. We have a two burner stove right here. We have outlets with cell phone charging right here. We have the sink. Uh, you can remove that and then you have a nice little sink guy right there and you can turn that hot and cold everything works through the truma down here we have a bunch of 
you got a cigarette lighter right there, another outlet right next to the bed, and you also have a little storage. This is perfect for silverware. Down here we have a storage compartment in here, and that's really deep. It's the whole depth of this countertop. And then right here we have, this is actually a pretty deep drawer. It goes all the way back in here. I don't know if you can see. This is my wife, she packed this up. We have the microwave and everything will work off grid. Now we have had people ask like, I don't like a microwave, I don't want a microwave. We can option to remove the microwave and that will you know, save a little bit of weight on the trailer overall if you're trying to tow with a smaller vehicle. Now right here under the bed, we have some pretty nice long storage compartments right there. And those are pretty deep. You have both of these and everything, all of this is aluminum cabinets very premium filling people that come and look at this they're just blown away this right here is actually the port for the truma furnace so it actually pushes heat out right there which is very cool there's a few different ports in the trailer actually there's one in the dining room area over uh, at the foot of the bench there's also one behind the toilet in the bathroom now moving over to the bathroom area i want to talk a little bit about these walls because people are like oh is that just paneling no it's not this is fiberglass right here. This trim is aluminum. This trailer has not one speck of wood. It's all composites, fiberglass or aluminum. That's really incredible because there's no rotting. There's no delamination. See this right here. This cannot delam. This is a 3d printing on this fiberglass. So you don't ever have any stickers or seam tapes. This is not paneling. You open this up and this is a aluminum door everything in here feels very very strong and robust for a trailer this size that sleeps four people you have a dry bath now this shower i will admit is is a little small this would be probably my biggest complaint about the trailer you have a 16 foot box right this is a small trailer to be able to sleep four people and have a shower period is really nice also they got the towel bars right here you have another towel bar right here you got your switches that turns on and off your lights. Fantastic vent fan. Right here, you have a car, you have some space and also a lip so things can't roll away. As you can see, when we were camping, we didn't lose anything. And then up here, you also have another storage compartment. Throw some toilet paper. Really nice. Once again, everything is controlled by the Truma. And also, look at this, look at this, the headspace in here. I'm six feet and I got about three. So even to the ceiling part, you're six foot three or so. You know, you can be a pretty tall person. You got the shower curtain, so it gives you a little bit elbow space. The floor to ceiling space is, is close to seven feet. Not quite, but you, you got a lot of ceiling space. People walk in these and they're like, wow, this is really big. It's not that it's really big. It's just got a lot of headroom. Moving over to here, we have a large fridge and freezer. So you open this up, this is the fridge, and then it also opens up two ways, which is kind of cool, I guess. And then also you have a freezer. Moving down below here, you have an additional storage. Look how deep this is. A lot of storage for a small trailer. This right here is the cold air intake for the Truma. And now this table, this is a massive table and I really like it because as you can see, you can squeeze in right here to get on the table or you can push it this way and you can squeeze in right here. This moves forward and then you can sit down and you can move it back once everybody's seating and you can lock it. There's a locking mechanism under here and very, very comfortable and also so much light in this trailer. When you open this thing up, you just have tons and tons of light. You also have an outlet over here with two standard USB charger and a USB-C. So you have all of your new modern charging mechanisms. One of the things he did as well is because this is kind of angled and normally if you only use these cushions, that would be awkward. So they added these extra little pillows for back support. So you don't actually lean, you can lean right into this area and it's a little bit more comfortable. When these cushions come out, this table drops down and it turns into a bed in the full tour i'll show you how that all works also windows blinds you have blackout screens for flies more details in the full tour i'm going to go over into the bedroom area and end the tour 
check that out. Now I just sit back and relax and enjoy the view. This is amazing. And if there's too many bugs out, I can drop down the screen and just enjoy. So there you have it. This is the new Pause 16.4 and this trailer is awesome. It's very unique. There's nothing like it on the market right now where you have a queen size and a full size bed inside with a dry bath with an inside outside kitchen. And then check this out, a cargo storage where you can put bicycles and then back up to the beach or the mountains and enjoy this. There you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the full tour. If you have questions, reach out to us 801-860-0035. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.